This program is proudly brought to you by Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy and the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana supported by Bit C Fort, your best vitamin C supplement from Samuels Pharma. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. You are welcome to another exciting and educating episode of Ask Your Pharmacist. My name is Peggy Sano. The show is proudly brought to you by Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. You can always download the Dragnet app on Google Play Store or the App Store or the oil of education. Speak to a pharmacist, upload your prescriptions and always have it delivered to you wherever you are. Remember, with Dragnet, you are definitely assured of convenience, quality and affordable drags dragnet your number one online pharmacy this is also brought to you by the pharmaceutical society of ghana and Tema christian eye center if you are looking for a facility with a comprehensive eye care services ultra modern equipment skilled and experienced doctors with top-notch customer service you need to look nowhere contact Tema christian eye center on 024-371-7468 or locate them at Tema community one adjacent the St. Paul's Methodist Church. Tema Christian Eye Center, changing lives through proper eye care. This show is supported by Vit C Fort. If you want the best vitamin C plus zinc, definitely Vit C Fort is the supplement for you. And this is from Samuels Pharma Limited. Many thanks to our media partners, ETV Ghana and GH1 Television. We will take a quick break, come back, and the show definitely continues. Are you tired of roaming for your medications and can't find them? Sick and alone and can't get anyone to get your drugs? Do you need to talk to a pharmacist? Or do you feel uncomfortable when buying certain drugs from the pharmacy? Do you want your drugs to be delivered to you at the comfort of your own home or office? Then it's time to download the Drugnet app, spelled D-R-U-G-N-E-T, from the Play Store or the App Store to enjoy total convenience. Use Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. For further inquiries on Dragnet, call 024-00-24455. Mama mo akwa abadeba tama Christian Eye Center. Aye she ni hu apomudin semu nina. Seye akola, seye pini ye wo a doctor for kukudam. A wombe tu wa mubo ayem pensem pensem munin fifimu and sana ye hu nia e ha we nino. Ya ye nye se se ye de bwa ma wonso winin ni hutono. Ye wo inru a papa pa ewa ha a chese ye show ya ube nyani ni nebi wa ha se efano afife niwa a e friend lenses and swa ye wo quality lenses any frames. And this center is devoted to eye care. We treat patients with all types of eye diseases here, cataracts, glaucoma, refractive errors, and retinal issues. Um, I am a glaucoma specialist here at the Tema Christian Eye Center, seeing patients particularly with glaucoma and cataracts. Yeah, wo Tema Committee One. Ah, ye be Methodist asorin. Ye ye juma fiti ejwada. Ah ye Monday kopem memnenda. Ah ye Saturday. Tema Christian Eye Center, changing lives through proper eye care. You are welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist. And um, last week we did talk about the role the liver play and fatty liver disease. We are still in the Liver Awareness Month. So in case you missed last week's episode, please go on YouTube at Dragnet TV and stay updated. Okay, so this week we are going to discuss hepatitis. And remember the liver series is brought to you by Livolin Fort. If you need to protect your liver, Livolin Fort is the best and right supplement for you. A healthy liver is a healthy you. So get level in for it at any pharmacy near you and definitely get a step closer to taking care of your liver. A healthy liver is a healthy you. All right, so I guess pharmacist for today is Pharm Dr. Mark Dradosi. He is a senior clinical pharmacist and the head of pharmacy at the International Maritime Hospital, Tema. He's also a fellow at the Ghana College of Pharmacists. Pharm Dr., how are you? I'm doing well. And you? I'm doing very well. Glad to see you today, too. Thank you, and good to see you as well. Well, I always enjoy our discussion. So, we are still in the um, Liver Awareness Month, and um, we did talk about fatty liver disease last week, and definitely we are talking about hepatitis, so we'll go straight at it. Um, what is hepatitis? 
So hepatitis is any condition that leads to swelling or inflammation of the liver tissue. Okay. In the short form, that is. So swelling of the liver tissue that will lead to a liver condition, medical condition within the liver. Okay. All right. So before we go into um, talking more, let's reiterate what the liver does just in case uh, people forgot. So the liver has so many functions. We spoke about that last week, mm. uh, starting from digestion. So it produces the bile and it also helps with the immune system. So it helps you fight infections. It produces certain proteins that helps break down medicine and other toxins within the body. Okay. And then uh, helps, uh, also produces certain types of chemicals or other proteins that helps your blood clot. Mm. Uh, among others so it has so many functions yeah there you have it um, it has so many functions now what are the major classes of hepatitis so for hepatitis uh, we have about three three major classes uh, first one is the viral hepatitis which are caused by uh, medical conditions caused by viruses okay and then uh, for that one we have five five different types of viruses that can uh, attack the liver and then we have the alcoholic liver disease which is caused by uh, consumption of excessive okay. amounts of alcohol and then we also have uh, secondary liver disease which would be due to several other things including medications and toxins and anything that can cause injury to the liver. Okay, so let's talk about the viral part. Um, what, co what would cause, I mean it's a virus, but you did mention that we have five main classes you said. Mm -hmm. So what are the causes of that? Uh, so there's, uh, so there are five different viruses mm -hmm. that could um, cause uh, hepatitis. So there's hepatitis A, caused by the uh, hepatitis A virus, okay. hepatitis B caused by the hepatitis B virus, C, D, and E. Okay. Yep. So those are the ones we're actually very much aware of. So yes. the non-viral will be the one you did mention uh, related to alcohol. Yep. So the causes of course will be... And then there's another one okay. which we call the autoimmune oh. uh, hepatitis mm. where your body mistakes the liver cells to be foreign or a foreign substance that is coming to attack wow. the body and makes antibodies to actually start attacking the body to uh, the, the liver tissues so that's another one and there are treatments for all of them okay well I'm glad to hear that so how is it diagnosed especially with the viral part since that's the most popular um, this part of the world so unlike all hepatitis conditions we start with the patient history mm. So you will have a, an interview with the doctor, he will ask you so many questions, and then through that, we pick out certain things. And then, uh, depending on what you're showing, we do the liver function tests, of course, and then if we suspect viral um, causes, then we start doing tests to see what type of hepatitis virus okay. you have in your system. So we have like lab tests that can actually tell us that. And then in advanced cases, they do like the antigen tests and antibody tests and so many other things to see if you've developed, if your hepatitis is acute versus chronic. Mm. So there are so many tests that we run. Uh, aside from the lab tests, the liver function tests, then we could go into the ultrasound, the liver ultrasound, or a CT scan of the liver okay. or the abdomen, depending on what you're showing, and then also a biopsy wow. if necessary. Okay, so hepatitis A, B, um, and the other classes, which is more prevalent in our society? Uh, B and C are quite prevalent. How so? And um, because of some of the things that happen within our societies. Okay. And I'll probably share what each of them is. Hepatitis A and E are more sanitation related. Oh, okay. Uh, due to food that is contaminated uh, with feces from somebody that has wow. the A virus. So somebody buying water on the street, street. is what can be susceptible to get, yes. uh, catching that. Yes. Chest. A and E. Uh, a and e. Wow. Or two, yeah, the two extremes. Or drinking water that is infected with wow. feces from somebody that uh, has the A virus okay. could cause that. So it's water and food for A and E 
uh, A has a vaccine, E does not. Uh, B has a vaccine, uh, B, is, B and C, B, uh, C and D mm -hmm. are usually from body fluids, okay. infected uh, body fluids from somebody who has the, uh, the virus. Wow. So it could be semen, it could be blood, it could be other body fluids that become, or uh, that anybody would come in contact with. Mm. So usually that is how, um, that's a description of the various viruses and how what type of disease they cause. Okay, so since A and B is very uh, prevalent in our society, you should be very mindful where you're buying that cocoa, where you're buying that wache okay. or tozafi. Okay, so Doug, let's talk about the causes of hepatitis. So, um, of course, the viral ones, uh, the viruses, the five different viruses, mm -hmm. and then um, Alcohol, alcohol right. and then the non-alcoholic one where we have the uh, some of the um, NCDs, non-communicable diseases, hypertension, mm -hmm. diabetes, uh, high cholesterol, uh, and then obesity and okay. so forth, sedentary lifestyles, uh, and then um, also the toxins. Uh, could be medications. So there are several medications that go through the liver. The liver breaks down wow. excessive amounts of those. Or if you are at risk of hepatitis, uh, the medicines could cause injury to the liver. Mm -hmm. uh, drug interactions can wow. also lead to that, uh, as well as other environmental things or other chemicals that we put within our bodies can okay. lead to that. Yes. Okay, I'm very curious with this one. Can um, fatty liver disease expose one to hepatitis? Okay. Yes. Wow. So extreme cases of it, you get hepatitis. Mm. And in extreme cases, when the liver is so bad and cannot function anymore, you have to have a liver transplant. Wow. So we definitely do not want to get to the point where we have to undergo a liver transplant. So definitely make sure that whatever you are eating or whatever thing you do, you really think about it twice. And um, Doc, how then do we diagnose the hepatitis? Hepatitis. I want us to focus much on the viral part for now, the A all the way to E. How, how is it diagnosed? Uh, ideally by running lab tests to see which one you have in your blood or in the liver. Okay. So that's the simplest way. Aside from the other things we do from the history and the imaging and all that, uh, the lab test is what will show us the type of hepatitis you have, whether it's A, B, C, wow. D, E. And then on top of that, biopsy if needed. Okay. Yeah. And then the antigen, antigen antibody tests. And then also a viral load. There are times we actually do a lab test to see how much of the load, the okay. virus you have in your system. That determines treatment. Wow, wow, wow. All right, this is getting very interesting, but I would want us to take a quick break. We will come back and delve more in um, discussing our liver health. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Me mamu akwa abadeba tama Christian Eye Center. Aye she ni mu apumudin semu nina. Se ye akola, se ye pini ye wo a doctor for kukudam. A wombe tu mubu ayem pensem pense munin fifimu and sana ye hu nya e ha we nino. Ya ye nye se se ye de bwa ma wonso winin ne hutono. Ye wo inru a papa pa ewa ha a chese ye show ya ube nyani ni nebi waha se efano afife niwa a e friend lenses and swa your quality lenses and frames um, this center is devoted to eye care we treat patients with all types of eye diseases here cataracts glaucoma refractive errors and retinal issues um, I am a glaucoma specialist here at the Tema Christian Eye Center seeing patients particularly with glaucoma and cataracts yeah war Tema committee one ah yeah bear Methodist are sorry no. Yeah, yeah, Juma, Fiti, Ejwada, Aye, Monday, Kopem, Memninda, Aye, Saturday. Tema Christian Eye Center, changing lives through proper eye care. Hey, Kofi, are you coming to the party? Everyone is here. Oh, Mido, I'm not well low, and I feel too weak to go out and get drugs. Oh, Kofi, why the hassle? You can order all your drugs on the Dragnet app. Dragnet app? Yes, Dragnet app. I don't stress myself any longer. I just go on the app and upload all my prescriptions or call the pharmacist on the app and my drugs are sent to me at a fee of only 5 CDs. Wow, this is amazing. I feel better already. It is time to download the Dragnet app on Google Play Store or the App Store and enjoy total convenience. 
Drugmate, your number one online pharmacy. Thank you so much for staying tuned. You are watching Ask Your Pharmacist. We are still discussing hepatitis and uh, we left off with signs and symptoms. Okay, so Doug, let's talk about the complications of hepatitis, both the viral and the non-viral. Uh, so, complications of hepatitis, the viral, usually we break them down into acute mm -hmm. and then chronic. Okay. Uh, with acute hepatitis, typically you don't see any symptoms. Uh, most, especially the A, um, the B, and the C, they resolve on their own very quickly. Actually, the E as well. A, B, C, E. E yes, resolve. usually, okay. yes. Uh, they are self limiting if your immune system can fight it off. Mm. So the immune system is key. Yeah, so you need uh, to boost your immune system with the seafood, just so your immune system will definitely fight off um, hepatitis, like Doc is saying, it can be prevented mm -hmm. as well. So. Yeah, so the initial part, but once you get into chronic and there's damage to the liver tissues, mm -hmm. and then it starts affecting the liver function, and that is where we look at the complications. Wow. The different functions of the liver. So. Uh, one of them will be uh, what we call portal hypertension, where the blood uh, vessels that supply blood to the liver, mm -hmm. the blood pressure in it becomes, goes up very high. That can affect mm -hmm. the body. Uh, some people will start building up fluid around the abdomen and then in the legs because the liver is not working properly to okay, help no, circulate. Just to cut through, you said that their blood pressure would rise. Can that lead to hypertension? Um, what is it? Um, it's, called port, it's called portal hypertension. hypertension. So, the, yes, so the portal, it can also be chronic too. Yes, that's also okay. chronic and wow. requires treatment. Wow. Uh, and then um, because the liver gets rid of toxins or based, based on other substances, uh, with time, uh, you may have a lot of build up of these uh, mm. substances within or toxins within the body. Sometimes it affects, causes um, mental cloudiness and things like that. Uh, you may not be able to break down medicine. So medi uh, when you take medicine, the concentration stay up higher, which could lead to side effects. Uh, you could also have bleeding issues because the liver makes the clotting factors mm -hmm. uh, and a host of other things. Uh, with time, um, you may not be able to do much because wow. your liver has failed. Wow. And the non-viral aspect? Uh, the non-viral aspect. So all this was kind of lumped together. Okay. All yes. right. Yeah. Okay. So um, what about the treatment? I mean, it sounds scary. The latter part, like, really mm -hmm. did scare me a lot. So uh, Treatments vary depending on if it's viral versus non-viral. So for the viral, we look at if it's an acute disease versus or acute infection versus when it's chronic. Mm -hmm. uh, chronic vitamin not, oh, hepatitis, hepatitis B yeah. uh, typically does not require treatment. Mm. Oh no, the acute. It's, it's uh, it self limiting. Goes away, yes, yeah. it goes away. Most of the patients will not have any symptoms. Okay. Uh, if your immune system is able to fight it off very well, mm -hmm. it goes away. They may also we say some, something like it goes into remission mm. because it could come back. Okay. But when you get to the chronic, to get to chronic, it means the disease or the virus has overwhelmed your immune wow. system and keeps replicating. It keeps multiplying. So then you go into the area where you have symptoms like the GI symptoms, the nausea, vomiting, uh, weight loss, unexplained weight loss, um, uh, all the other things that can happen with it. Uh, so then for treat for chronic, there is, there is treatment. We're mm -hmm. supposed to give you antivirals. Okay. So antiviral medications that can help kill the virus. And chronic treatment can take a while. So for some wow. people, it's months to years. That can get expensive. And as we treat you, we're also supposed to keep on checking the viral load and checking your organs and everything to make sure that there's no further damage and things are getting better. Okay, so what about vaccinations then? Because I I didn't know that um, there are certain vaccinations you could take to um, protect yourself from getting um, any of the hepatitis. Yeah, so hepatitis A and B currently have vaccines that you can take okay. from childbirth to also to adults. And then, uh, so these vaccines are available. It's usually a three-step uh, vaccine vaccination, mm -hmm. uh, day one, and then a month later, and then six months later. And typically, once you get vaccinated, you are protected from wow. the well, disease. Wow, that's a good part. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, so what group are more susceptible to catching hepatitis, both the viral and the non 
Okay, let's talk about the viral first. Yes, yeah, so focusing on the B vi or hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. Healthcare workers are wow. at high risk because we deal with body fluids and blood and all that. And then um, people who share needles mm. and syringes or go through dialysis or go through processes or uh, whereby there's a possibility of coming into contact with body fluids from mm -hmm. somebody who is infected. Uh, also, uh, homosexuals, mm -hmm. and then um, people who actually uh, use, even share um, blades and oh, wow. tooth, uh, toothbrushes and... Go to the barber shop. shop and all, yes. Wow. So if, if those items are not sterilized properly, mm -hmm. the risk becomes higher. Wow. Yep. Okay, so you did also mention body fluids. I know that when hepatitis was very popular in our society, like years ago, we used to get this education that um, when you're even sitting in a church or you have to make sure you don't have that body contact just so the sweat might, you know, pass on mm -hmm. some, you know, hepatitis to you. So how true are these myths? Actual transmission takes place when, within the mucous membranes, so through kissing. You could get it through kissing, okay. uh, through vaginal fluids, you could, uh, through sexual intercourse, and then being exposed to a needle that has pricked somebody or the blood of somebody that has, has the disease or the, the virus. That is possible. But just by sweat, <laughs> touching somebody who is sweating, no. Sharing utensils at home, no. Mm -hmm. Drinking from the same glass, typically shouldn't do it. What can we do to ensure that we don't even catch the B and um, very briefly, the, or the A? So basically, A, A is more sanitation based. Mm. So make sure you don't expose yourself to uh, food that is possibly contaminated, drinking uh, re uh, proper, properly um, sterilized water or okay. good water, either bottled water or water from a good source, let me put mm. it that way. So many waters out there. Yes, I don't know which water from a good source will help you. So A is A and E basically sanitation based. For the B, C, D, that is where the challenge comes. Wow. Don't share needles. If you know somebody has the disease, use safe sex. Um, dental gums will protect mm -hmm. yourself from the um, fluids from the mouth. Um, so, yeah, kissing could lead to yes. So no um, vaginal, like, mm -hmm. yeah. And then, um, so not sharing with those, even if you have diabetes, there are some diabetes patients who do through testing actually also share the needles. Oh, Don't do it. Right. Don't use the same needle for injection. If you work in a hospital, take precautions as a nurse or a doctor. Make sure when you see blood spills around, you wear gloves and clean it properly. And among other things, don't share razors and all those things. Just precautions, precautions, okay. precautions. Wow. Yep. One of the things I didn't mention about the liver, the manifestations is jaundice, mm. yellowing of the skin or the eyes. I okay. forgot to mention that. Both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, those are classic signs. Okay. Yep. So once you start seeing things like that, the eyes are getting yellow, the skin's getting yellow, mm -hmm. you suspect. It's you have to go to the hospital yes. to get it checked. Okay. Yeah. All right, dog. Before we conclude, um, I want us to take our social media questions. And the first question is, can one get hepatitis through sexual intercourse? Yes, you can get hepatitis B, C, uh, through sexual intercourse. Mm. Hepatitis D is usually gotten after, it comes in conjunction with the B. So if you do okay. not have a B, you do not get the D. Oh, so is the D like the worst part or, you know? Or no, it's just another type of infection. Okay. But you must have the B to be able to, to get, get the D. D. Wow. Yeah, okay, but there are times that people can have both the B and C together. Hmm. Yep. And, and B and D wow. together, yeah. That can be very dangerous. And so your, your, your condition gets worse. Oh, Lord. Yes. Wow. And um, the second question is, I would like to know if I can still contract hepatitis B even after taking the hepatitis B vaccine. Uh, usually you shouldn't. Uh, but once you get the three causes of the B vaccine, you should have immunity for life. Uh, there's some data that coming out that you could have immunity after about 30 years and you need a booster shot, but that is not quite, um, we haven't quite verified it. 
but there's some data out there. Mm -hmm. But usually for life, you should have immunity once you take the three shots. Wow, wow, wow. Well, dog, so this has been very educated and uh, since we are still in the liver, um, Health Awareness Month, I would definitely want us to really pay attention to this part because a healthy liver is a healthy you. So always, you can trust on Liverlin to get your liver protected. So Doug, what are your final words to um, Hepatitis B? Uh, it's, it can be prevented. Okay, good. It's fully preventable if you take the right precautions and you take the vaccine. Uh, it's safe, it, not just by hepatitis B, but all the viral, mm -hmm. viral hepatitis. If you take the right precautions, you should be able to uh, not have it. Uh, the autoimmune one, there are medicines to treat it, uh, and all the other uh, hepatitis uh, conditions. So the key thing is prevention, 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 prevention. Let's keep our liver healthy and we can live long. Wow, I like the sound of that. Let's keep our liver healthy and we will definitely live long. Remember this series was brought to you by Liverland Fort. If you need to protect your liver, just so you don't catch fatty liver disease or any of the hepatitis, always make sure that you get uh, Liverland Fort and you can get that at any pharmacy near you. Liverland Fort, a healthy liver is a healthy you. Many thanks for watching and this has been exciting thank you so much Doug. you're welcome thank you sir dose for healthy living is up next stay tuned we'll be right back today on dose for healthy living avoid mixing don't mix your medications with food or drink unless instructed to by a pharmacist or a doctor. Okie dokie, this is where we draw the curtains for our liver series. Remember, this liver series was brought to you by Liverlane Fort. If you need to protect your liver, Liverlane is the best supplement for you. And you can get Liverlane Fort in any pharmacy near you. You are definitely a step to taking care of your liver if you get this supplement. And this show was brought to you by Dragnet. Always remember with Dragnet, you are assured of quality, convenient, and affordable drugs. Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. This is also brought to you by the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana and Tema Christian Eye Center. If you are looking for a place with comprehensive eye care services, ultra modern equipment, with skilled and experienced doctors who can take care of you, definitely visit Tema Christian Eye Center. They are located at Tema Community One at the St. Post Methodist Church, or you can call them on 024-371-7468. Tema Christian Eye Center, changing lives through proper eye care. This show is supported by the C4, the best vitamin C plus zinc from Samus Pharma. Many thanks to our media partners, ETV Ghana and GH1 Television. You know I cannot end with this one. Like I always say, whatever that goes inside of you is merely irreversible. You always have to ask your pharmacist before you swallow that pill or before you drink anything medicinal. Your pharmacist is the best friend you definitely need. My name is Peggy Sano. I'll be coming your way same time next week. Until then, be safe and it's bye-bye for now.